Hi guys, it's Tamika here from Saddle Bank and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change a gullet bar in a GFS or Monarch saddle. So in these saddles you can see the gullet bar underneath which we currently have a 2x wide in it and we're going to change it to a 1x wide. So these bars you can tell they're GFS because they've got their logo on one side and then it tells you the size of the bar on the other. So with these saddles on both Monarch and GFS you've got four screws that you need to undo before you are able to see the bar underneath. So the four screws are two are by the D-rings and then you've got the two underneath as well. So I like to undo the two underneath first because if you start to undo the top ones, these are connected directly into this bar here. So your bar is going to start rattling around inside the saddle and you're not going to be able to undo the ones underneath. So I'm going to start by undoing the ones underneath first. So we've got the two underneath here and how to open this is just with a standard Allen key. So we're going to open these ones first. That just pops out like that. And the other one as well. So now we can take the panels out of the point pocket of the saddle. So we just do this by lifting up the panels like that and pulling it out and up like that. So you can see now it reveals the bar that's underneath. So you can see the, the screws that are underneath here are the ones that are by the D-rings. So we're gonna undo them ones now. And a tip for this as well, sometimes the screws of this can be a little bit stiff. So what I sometimes have to do is re-thread the screw. So we pop it in the wrong way first, and then we can take it out and put it in the right way. That just re-threads it and then lets it, us do it a little bit easier. So now I'm gonna do the same by the D-ring and just take that screw out. saddle back over now all the screws are out we'll be able to take this bar out so you also want to make sure you can pull the panels a little bit out of the way like that so you can also make sure here that the right in is facing you so that's the way you want to put the new bar in as well so this literally if you pull your tree at the top here should just pop out there we go and you can see here you've got two little holes where this on the bar needs to go into as well. So I make sure the right in's facing me and then pop one inside in first and you can actually just push down on the middle and it should pop straight into place. There we go. So you can hear it almost click and now it's secure. So if I move this bit, this can move, but the bit should not come out of the holes. So now I'm gonna put the screws in by the D-ring, now that's back in. So I'm gonna move the panels back over so I can flip the saddle over. And pop the screw in. So you don't wanna make sure it's too tight, because obviously when you come to change it again, you want to be able to undo the screw, but you also want to make sure that you can feel that screw has come through all the way on the bar. You can actually see the silver bit there in the hole. So that's obviously the other side of the screw. And we're going to do the same on the other side. that's nice and tight and also I can feel and see the screw that's come through the other side so now we need to put the panels back onto the point and then do the front up as well so we're going to make sure all my girth straps are out of the way because on GFS and Monarch there is quite a few girth straps so you don't want to get any caught make sure they're all facing the right way as well so now I'm just going to pop the point of my tree back into my point pocket Make sure your flap's up as well, so that's not caught anywhere. 
that should now line up with your holes that you have here to put your screws back in. So we're going to pop that one. in place at the front of the d-rings and also at the front here so i hope you found that video really useful that was how to change a gullet bar in a gfs or monix saddle if you've got any questions comment down below thank you again for watching and subscribe as well it's been to me at the saddle bank mm -hmm.